So, you want to read a story? Well, let's see. Ah, here we are. The Wild World. The Wild World is full of stories. And here's one I'm sure you'll like. A colt called Lucky. And here's how it begins. Of all the lands in the Wild West, it was the desert that Lucky loved best. The desert's the driest place on earth, and some folks claim it has no worth. But others see it differently, especially wild horses who love to be free. To Lucky, for instance, a colt born to run, there could not be a better place under the sun. Since Lucky was young, his parents had to provide. But the hard thing was keeping him by their side. Lucky had a favorite friend who knew that silly things were fun to do. But finding food was number one, for grass could die fast in the hot desert sun. But hunger wasn't the only threat a colt like Lucky must never forget. Flicking its tongue was the snake, whose rattle made everyone shake. A few months ago, everything bloomed. But then, the rain stopped a month too soon. To find green grass, the herd had to roam at times too close to someone's home. The summer wore on, the heat reached its worst, and all of the desert was dying of thirst. The soil turned to dust that the wind whipped up and whirled, and the horses all ran from the fury it hurled. The few drops of water still there were vanishing into the air. The herds of the ranchers had enough, but the thirsty wild horses were finding it tough to stay away from the dangers of drinking the water that belonged to strangers. The horses were spied as they tried to decide but their need for water came first, and their fear gave way to thirst. Then, off in the distance, danger appeared. Lucky had heard that men should be feared. trouble above and trouble behind. How did he end up in this kind of a bind? For the first time, he would see how cruel a fence could be. Poor Lucky seemed to have run out of luck, and now he was sure that he was stuck. machines were too much to beat, and the herd of wild horses went off in defeat. As the truck drove away with its load, Lucky wondered what waited up the road. It seemed at first that things would improve. A 
At least it felt great to be able to move. Lucky and his companions were glad. This place didn't seem so bad. Of course, the wild horses were no longer free. But there were worse places Lucky could be. The old ones made sure that the young colts received all the care and protection they might need. And so the years passed and Lucky grew. Desert memories were now just a few. The hunger and thirst he didn't miss. But there had to be more to life than this. Then one day, four strangers appeared. Why they had come, everyone feared. Lucky was one of the ones they had picked. A man with a beard made his rope do a trick. When it tightened around Lucky's neck, he kicked. But the rope just got tighter, and Lucky was licked. He ended up at a rodeo, where men riding horses put on a show. Lucky had never before been ridden by men, and he was determined he would not be again. So the rodeo season passed, and Lucky hoped it would be his last. Then his life was to change once more, though he had no idea what was in store. Lucky at first thought he wouldn't go, but what could be worse than the rodeo? Once again cooped up in a crowded truck, Lucky wondered where was his luck? Lucky had lived so long in captivity, he no longer dreamed of being free. A woman watched as a man opened the door. This was the break Lucky waited for. When no one tied him up with a rope, he realized that there was some hope. A beautiful world of grass and trees was cooled by a gentle mountain breeze. Now that the horses had the freedom to roam, None of them missed their desert home. So after all of the things that had passed, Lucky's name made sense at last. And that's the happy ending of a colt called Lucky. Thank <laughs> you.